Hello and a very warm welcome to this special launch stream. In just a few moments time, we'll be revealing the very latest DJI Enterprise solutions. Now, as you're most likely aware, the emergency services have been using drones for many years, achieving some of the most amazing things in some of the most demanding operating environments. In 2019, DJI revealed that an astonishing 279 lives were saved by the use of drones, and since then, you can bet that number has increased dramatically. Emergency services are using drones day in, day out for incidents such as missing person search and rescue, flood damage assessment, and as we've seen more recently, the assessment of Heathland fires. The demanding situations which these public safety organisations deploy mean that they need the most robust and capable equipment, but capable equipment would traditionally come at a sacrifice. With space at a premium within their vehicles, size really does matter. As we saw earlier this year with the launch of the DJI Matrice 30 series, DJI continues to cater for our everyday heroes, but of course these aircraft are not simply limited to emergency service applications alone. Drones have played a crucial role in the inspection of national utility, transportation and critical infrastructure, ensuring it continues to function effectively and decrease downtime. Both optical and thermal inspections ensure that fault identification and predictive maintenance can be achieved, reducing the need for rope access or mobile elevated work platforms. Additionally, drones have now become a staple piece of equipment for survey work, and the current range of surveying drones from DJI includes the Matrice 300 RTK, equipped with the Zemmuse L1 and the Phantom 4 RTK. Well, today sees the launch of two aircraft in the same range, but with very different applications. So without further ado, let's have a look at what DJI have in store on the Enterprise Solution side. So there we have it, the new DJI Mavic 3 Thermal. We were fortunate to receive a demo unit of the M3T recently and took it out on the road to put it through its paces, but this isn't the only aircraft which is being released today. DJI has also released the Mavic 3 Enterprise, a firm contender for the DJI Phantom 4 RTK. So let's take a look now at the technical specifications for both of these platforms. 
Starting off with the Mavic 3 Enterprise, it has two optical sensors, a 20 megapixel 4 3rd CMOS wide sensor with an equivalent 24 millimeter focal length and a 12 megapixel half inch CMOS tele-sensor with an equivalent 162 millimeter focal length. In combination, the two sensors afford a 56 times hybrid digital zoom and with a 0.7 second shooting interval, mechanical shutter, 45 minute flight time, it's more efficient and portable by comparison to the Phantom 4 RTK. Weighing just 915 grams without the modular accessories, the M3e falls into the A2 transitional classification for the open category, so compliance to be flown in the A2 subcategory with an A2 certificate of competency qualification, or of course in the A3 subcategory. It can also be flown in the specific category under an operational authorization issued by the Civil Aviation Authority. The Mavic 3 Enterprise also has a higher wind resistance by comparison to the previous Mavic 2 Enterprise of 12 meters per second scale 6 or 26 miles per hour. It uses OcuSync 3.0 Enterprise, boasting an improved anti-interference algorithm, maintaining robust connectivity between controller and aircraft to 15 kilometers FCC or 8 kilometers CE. It is also compatible with the DRTK2 base station for precision accuracy. The Mavic 3 Thermal has three sensors, a 48 megapixel half inch CMOS wide sensor with an equivalent 24 millimeter focal length and a 12 megapixel half inch CMOS tele sensor with an equivalent 162 millimeter focal length. It also has a radiometric uncooled vanadium oxide microbolometer thermal sensor achieving 640 by 512 at 30 hertz. It comes in 5 grams heavier, weighing 920 grams without the modular accessory, and therefore falls into the same A2 transitional classification for the open category as its surveying sibling. This added weight reduces the flight time marginally to 43 minutes, but is still a huge 15% improvement on the M2EA. Both aircraft are controlled by the new DJI Smart RC Pro with increased graphics processing and central processing units. The inbuilt DJI Pilot 2 application provides the familiar user interface and facilitates local data mode and SD card encryption. We also expect them to be compatible with DJI Flight Hub 2 for desktop mission planning, maintenance and remote monitoring. Both these aircraft have the top accessories port for affixing the optional RTK module or loudspeaker module as required. The Mavic 3 Enterprise also comes with a complimentary three month trial license to DJI Terra Electricity meaning users can benefit from the highest level of functionality afforded by the software. Other optional accessories also include a 100 watt charging hub. So we recently took the Mavic 3 Thermal to test where the aircraft performed well as expected and despite the lack of an optical zoom function, the digital zoom worked very well providing us with the ability to accurately read a vehicle registration plate up to 180 meters. There is a noticeable transition from optical wide to optical zoom cameras, but this doesn't detract from the overall capabilities of the system. There are some minor functional differences which differ from that of other aircraft in the Enterprise range, most notably the pinpoint function which augments the position of the aircraft at the time together with its height. Everything else however was very familiar in terms of functions and settings. Users of the Mavic 2 Enterprise Dual and Advanced Matrice 30T and H20T will be immediately familiar with the sensor functionality. Likewise also familiar are the batteries in that the aircraft is compatible with the same batteries used across the Mavic 3 range. Another feature which I'm particularly pleased to see is the top accessories port mechanism, which is now in a fixed rubber cover which unfolds to reveal the port allowing for those optional attachments, a much needed improvement on the Mavic 2 Enterprise range. So if you're interested in finding out more about the DJI Mavic 3 Enterprise or the Mavic 3 Thermal, reach out to the Heliguy team by phone on 0191 296 1024 or email us at info at heliguy.com. So thanks for joining us for this launch stream and if you have any questions, please post them in the comments below and we'll endeavor to answer them as quickly as possible.